Hi all, welcome back. This is Abhimanyu Kumar, and as you can see, the today's topic is uh, encrypting data source password. So I'm referring the uh, Red Hat portal. Here you can see the topic encrypting data source password. So the real use case is in your project, if you're utilizing JBoss as an application server, and you have a database connectivity uh, in the JBoss uh, application server, so you don't want to keep the password open. Okay, so that is the use case. Uh, since your uh, application is running on the uh, production or on the lower environment, you want an encrypted password should be mentioned in the XML file. So we know we use this standalone, standalone full XML or standalone XML file for the configuration of JBoss. JBoss, uh, if you're using JBoss 6 or 7. So I'm gonna show you today the example for JBoss EAP 7.1 version, okay? So the topic is encrypting data source password. I'll just scroll, scroll down. You see we can use security identity login module to have the encrypted password set up, okay? And what is this module basically? It extends or or JWAS resource security, secure identity login module class, okay? Using this class and the algorithm that it used to encrypt the password is picket box, okay? So simply you can use the Java command tool. If you have a Java install, you can use the Java, Java command, okay? Through which you can generate the password. And that password can be utilized in your actual uh, configuration file. So there are a couple of ways. One is the Linux. Through Linux, you can run hit this command, or through Windows, you can run the command, provided you have a Java setup. You know, runtime is set up basically. Uh, how to how to create a policy? So basically, this encrypted password will go into a policy. Under policy in the JBoss uh, configuration file, you you'll have to create one section. Uh, extending the secure identity login module class okay here you can mention your username and encrypted password so you look at here this is the encrypted password okay this cannot be uh, decrypted by any uh, user because this will be understood this is encrypted password will be understood by the application itself and JBoss will be able to set up a database connection but yes looking at it you won't be able to uh, I mean uh, wrongly utilize it Okay, so yeah, so first of all, you need to add this section in your standalone full XML, okay? And and then you need to refer that, uh, this particular policy, uh, wherever you're creating the GNDI connection or the database connection in that file, okay? So you can just simply refer this class file and this particular policy will be applied. So now, uh, how to generate the encrypted password, I'll show you. Uh, I can simply log into Unix machine, and this Unix machine has the Java JDK uh, already set up. I'll simply run this uh, command. You can see I'm using Java CP command. The command I have here in the notepad, as you can see, so I have different, different command for different, different versions. So currently I'm gonna show you JBoss EAP 7.1 version. Here you need to firstly export the JBoss EAP Okay, you can simply run this. And as soon as it is done, then you can, you can run this Java CP command. CP will copy the uh, password, okay? But you see the JBoss home is the uh, path you exposed, which is your basically till JBoss home folder and then under which you have a module system layer, okay, and this picket box. So picket box is the algorithm which encrypts and decrypts the password, okay. Then you see at the end, it is extending the class secure identity login module, and the, at the end you see what if, whatever is your uh, password you want to encrypt, you can just put that. Now just hit it. So as soon as you hit, hit it, you'll get the, this particular password. So this password you can set up here in your password section under this policy. And, going, and, and, and furthermore, you can utilize this uh, policy name in your database connectivity. So I have different, different command for uh, 
all different version so for 7 7.1 you saw it for 6.4 as well i have the command here and for 6.1 as well okay so i'm hoping this will help you okay you can keep your application secure happy learning thank you so much for your time